What is going on in the real estate market? Here's a real estate market update for March of 2022. Hi everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and we have seen a change in the real estate market, and the change that we've seen recently is a drop in overall sales. Sales are down double digits, 11% compared to February of last year, and that's unusual to see that drop in sales when everyone's talking about how hot the marketplace is. But how can the marketplace be hot if sales are down? What we're seeing happening is as sales go down, sellers go, oh no, maybe I should do something about this and put my home on the market. So we're seeing people put their homes on the market early, earlier than normal leading up to a spring marketplace. Typically, April, May, we see an increase in listing activity, but we've seen it in February, 31% increase. Now, overall inventory is down compared to last year. We're down 28%. So we do have this hyper low in inventory level, but we're seeing the trends increase in terms of the number of homes that hit the marketplace. And so it's kind of like, well, why are sales low? Well, sales are low because if you were to go into the retail store to buy something and there's nothing on the shelf, no one's gonna buy anything. So we see this backlog happening. There's, a, there's quite a bit of pent up demand. There's lots of buyers that want to buy, but no homes to buy. Smart home sellers are figuring out because of the balloon in home prices, we're gonna put our home on the market a little bit earlier. Because last year, home prices went up roughly 22%. So your home value, homeowners, if you owned a home last year for $400,000, it went up 80, what is that, $84,000 in one year. You made nearly $100,000 in equity in the last year. If you owned your home for the last two years, you're probably sitting on $200,000 of equity. But that equity is unrealized until you make you you activate it and sell your home and extract it so that you can use it for something else. So what a lot of smart home sellers are doing is they're selling their home and they're finding other homes. And a lot of homeowners aren't doing this because they don't know where to go next. So we created our buyer's advantage program where we're get, we're allowing our clients to find homes that are off marketplace. So we're finding homes that aren't listed on the MLS that aren't on Zillow, that aren't for sub owners. And we're getting them into these homes as house hunters and matchmakers so that they have a home where they buy essentially with no competition, but they sell with competition, giving them the most money. So it's a great opportunity if you play the market right. You can never time the market, you can only play the market right. Now, when it comes to what marketplace is the hottest, I can tell you that homes between five and 600,000, there's two months of inventory. So homes between six and 700, 2.7 months of inventory. That's actually an increase in inventory. We've seen that as low as one month inventory. So basically what that means is if no other homes hit the marketplace, there would be no homes left in two months. And you're hearing these stories about low inventory. Home in Bellevue sells for $1 million over list price. You're hearing these headlines, right? But that's not, that's just anecdotal. It's not the entire marketplace, right? If you price, if you have a $2 million home and you, you put it on the market for a million bucks, it's going to sell for $2 million. So is the marketplace crazy or is the marketplace just doing what the marketplace should do and selling homes for what it's worth, right? It's easy to sell your home for less money. It's hard to sell it for the most money. So if you want to know what your home would sell for in today's marketplace using our marketing, which is going to give you the most money, Find us online, Google Nick McLean Real Estate, or find us on our website, nickmcleanrealestate.com.